I saw Nick through bumpers. He's got a pretty good arm. He was an athlete, I believe. He got a pretty good arm. But every bumper that he threw, and I asked, I said, did he just throw that? Like, it was really up there. Every one of them, after watching them throw four or five, I bet you they landed within five yards of each other distance-wise. Like, I know how far he can throw, because I bet you if I send his dog on a blind line, I bet you his dog runs a certain distance and stops to hunt. Most guys do a lot. I've seen it a lot of times where you get out hunting, and they line a dog up for a bird. The bird sailed. They line the dog, and they send it. You know where it lands? About where Maddox is. Because you know how far I can throw? About to where Maddox is. So when we throw at the same distance every single time, our dog memorizes how many steps it takes to get to the bumper. Well, how do you extend that? Because I need dogs to work further than I can throw. Here's, this is cover. It's hard for dogs mentally to work into cover. It's like a brick wall. Sometimes it's as simple as a shadow of a tree line in a field. They hit it and they want to work the edge of it. They just don't want to go into it. It's a mental thing. That's cover. It's hard for some dogs to run through it mentally. They'll run around it. This is a tree line and a fence and there's a ditch. And then there's another field. This is how I, I can't throw it that far, but I certainly can set it up with trailing memory. So watch this trailing memory. Great focus on the line. Now, who can throw a bumper that far? None of us. So how do we train our dogs to work out that far? By setting it up with a trailing memory. Because I can tell it. There's a fence line there, a creek, a green pasture, and now a field. Now she's going to have to work her nose. Because you know what she just did? She hit the edge of the field and stopped. So she stopped short one barrier. I still got her. So you know what I would do on the next one? I'd go even further into that field. And I'd start, to get, I'd start getting her to understand, I gotta go through lots of barriers at times. Now, if I had used Ellie, it would have took half the time, because she just goes fast. Come on, let's go. That's how I use a trailing memory to extend length. Extend through cover. For some of you guys, for that group number two, this is your cover. We're gonna have you go through the ditch and across the road. There's a lot of dogs that if I sent it, if I threw it over the road right now and I sent them, they'd get into this ditch and they just won't go any further. They'd hunt, they'd hunt, the, they, they just saw it. But they'd hunt this cover first. It's a mental thing. It's a lot of barriers that they gotta go across. So that's a trailing memory. 